Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. So now let's get now let's get into the chatty chat stuff because um, uh, the tour. Let's talk. Let's talk about the the tour. Getting on the road. Yeah. Uh, headlining tour. Uh, yeah. What's it gonna mean to you guys to get out to bring these new these new songs to life? Uh, what's it gonna mean? Yeah, and how has it been? I mean, and, and, yeah. and, and uh, how do you strip it down from having such an illustrious career to you know being able to pick and choose yeah. which which hits to play? We it's kind of cool because we have six records, and then in the last year we had um, like a best of kind of a thing come out and a live yeah, audience record was a we live record. Really was it 2017? I think yeah, 2016, so 2017. It felt like which is part of the kind of the reason for the kind of the three short records, like the the feeling of like kind of a fresh start and like a Colder Kids 2.0 kind of okay, a feeling. It yeah. feels very like we needed that refresher because the it's a lot, you know, even getting the live show, which is so much of our lives is spent on stage, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we're, we're touring a lot and and getting old songs to a place where they they feel great every night and, and then getting that recording of it was a, a big goal that I wanted to capture the live show in all For of sure. its energy. So it was a lot of backward looking. So then to like, to write new songs and to have it feel like the freshest thing that, um, that, uh, that that's all there was, you know, cause it's a lot of baggage to carry around. When you turn up to shows like this, when you start to perform these new records, you see people really connect and you can look into the eyes of the fans and, and they're digging it, you know, uh, yeah. uh, how, how much of a validation, you know, is that that stamp of approval that you're kind of like, yeah, we have been doing this for a while. And we've been doing it for the right reason. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're so fortunate. Like, I just, that part of it never leaves me that we get to put new music out and that people uh, latch onto it. And, and, you know, your first couple records, you can see, like, there's those people that they knew the early one, they might yeah. know. That. But after this amount of time, like, it's like, it's crazy to me how that people's entry point is like a record that I kind of forgot about yeah. it. You know what I mean? It's like... Yeah. You so, didn't know that that particular album was going to be the one that they were going to connect with. Right, right, right. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Special Lucky. stuff, man. Um, I, I want to ask about uh, Long Beach, California, right? Yeah. Yeah. How, how is that? How is Southern California continue to be a tremendous influence in, in the music and who you all are as a band? Um, yeah. It's funny. Like, we grew up in the 90s of Southern California being like sublime and no yeah. doubt and all that, like a lot of like pop punk and things that like we wanted, like we always gravitated towards the more like older, like wh whether New York or England, Velvet Underground and the Smiths and Roxy Music or things that were darker and uh, just less, um, less of what you would think was Southern California yeah, at the sure. time. So, so, uh, it, you know, our music is different than that, but it's, it, uh, yeah. I mean, I it's, it's, what you, it's what you know California it's, to be. Yeah. It's yeah. who you are, you yeah. know? Uh, one question that I, that I think that we talked about a little tiny bit before we stepped out here was, uh, a lot recently there's been this, this quote and there's been this, this thing about Kanye West. And a lot of people have been bringing this up about how uh, you guys felt a little influence from Kanye when creating this. Next yeah, when we well, I guess it was was it two years ago we were on uh, we were on tour. Was it last, last summer? summer? Oh, he's, dude, time just Is rolls. That yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. We were waking up in you know on tour, living on a bus, and and like the as his records were coming out, the Kid See Ghost, the Yay record, the Pusha T record. Yeah. The, 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 There's a whole bunch of like individual record. things that he was on. Yeah, and I don't remember even how much time was in between them. I feel like some of them was like a week or two weeks. and But they just kept coming out and, and just the, the sheer like frequent the regular yeah like and also just how short they were you like wake up and there's another one minute and 45 second long kanye song that just was released two days prior then a new one is out next wednesday yeah type of a thing. and i like i just felt like that i wanted to have somewhat of that feeling of like um these are separate projects these these different records but they're um there, it's like a, it's a, it's a theme. It's a cohesively. It comes together when you yeah. look at all three bodies of work. Yeah. Lastly, I guess I want to know how extremely proud are you to have not only this amazing career, but this next, this this trilogy. You know, and and to have this be who you are at this point in time in your careers. How proud are you of this body of work? I'm very proud. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I like. I feel like again, like from the beginning. We've been very fortunate, like our first record was, it's, it's hard to explain when, like we didn't come from 
like musical backgrounds or even right really on. like ha uh, like everything we kind of learned how to do ourselves as far as like touring and um, I don't think that we thought even that we would ever make it a couple years in. So wow. as it's changed over the years and um, and we've been able to do so much and kind of almost keep a little bit of like an amateur -y mentality about For it sure. um, and like a underdog that hustle, mentality. That, yeah, you've yeah. got to stay hungry no yeah. matter what. Yeah, and there's something about that, about that sense of like never having arrived that I feel like is important to what we do and uh, yeah, keep it Keep fresh. that fighting spirit. I mean, damn it, we, we love it. I mean, I, I think the eyes and everyone that's watching online and the ears, you have arrived, definitely. Definitely, you've, you've been there, you've definitely made it. But I mean, to continue to want to be that aggressive in being the best and always proving who you are is the best you that you can be is, is what's going to keep on for another, you know, 15, 20 years down the line. So, I mean, yeah. knock on wood, I guess. Yeah. Is that what it is? <laughs> so Sounds good. Yeah. Pretty awesome stuff that we got today, right? I Heart headquarters or what? Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.